Good morning and welcome to PB&J Craft. This is Gabriel back for episode number two. Um, so there was the, right at the beginning there, there was the contents again. You see the same contents, nothing changed. A um, couple different things to do today. I'm going to eventually uh, work on the nether portal. Um, do some more monsters or mob, um, mob slain. I'm not sure on on my end as I'm recording the voiceover. I'm getting some major lag. I'm not sure if you're getting that lag. We'll have to figure out if that's a real problem as the video records. So I think I, at the end of the last episode, uh, yesterday's episode, I asked it, you to post in the comments um, whether or not you think this is a uh, functional or successful way to do this, having a, a sort of third person uh, omniscient viewpoint. My, my thought was the stuff like grinding, um, just like cobblestone grinding or, or just cutting trees down, of which there's so much early on. Um, it'd be a little more interesting to see the whole picture and have, have kind of back out view than have it close up. So let me know what you think about that. Those little zombies are so fast. I don't know if if how much you've encountered them now. Uh, of course, everything's fast when you're watching at eight times the speed. But those little zombies are so fast. Uh, in uh, in my other world, I have a NPC kind of experimenting world that I'm working on. Really, it's 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 my only like real vanilla that I've played in a while. Uh, outside of this, um, and. Those little, those little zombies are a real terror. Um, oh, there it is. It's so sad. Um, I think that was it. I think that was my first death. It didn't tell me at the bottom of the screen there, uh, but I'm pretty sure that was my first death. Uh, so I had to grind some more cobble, fix this back up, uh, so it was it was a creeper blast, and I got too close to it. So, so I've uh, one death, one death so far. Um, but could be a lot worse. Um, so I, I've I've tried skyblock a couple times. I uh, tried some different techniques in the past, and actually started recording this series a while back. I think it was it was. Maybe at one point during the summer, when I had a little, a couple of days of free time. Uh, no, no, no. Actually, 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 it was way back in the, in the spring. That's when it was. Um, but then I lost all the footage from that. I had several, uh, quite a few hours of footage actually. Um, I've played it some on my own. I've had different bad experiences though, of losing absolutely essential materials. Uh, of getting blown off the island and not being able to respawn on the island, just having really bad luck in my respawning. So th th there's a couple variables that make this tough. So I'm not sure actually which you know number of times this is for me playing Skyblock, um, but you know definitely each time you're starting out fresh on it, and it's not like playing more times gives you uh, any sort of advantage, given that the game is what it is. Um, that is one thing you have to worry about when, when you're <laughs> cobblestone, when you're trying to uh, grind cobblestone. Uh, at first, when your lava is so close to your trees, uh, you can burn down a lot. And of course, having flame is extremely important in terms of um, lighting the... I'm on ladders right now by the way, and realizing that that's a terrifying and scary and going to die way to get down. So then I moved to cobblestone steps. Um, but yeah, when, when everything's so close and you're, you're, you've got your lava there, uh, you can run into some, uh, some difficulties. I, I, the reason I'm, I'm building that platform lower down to make my 
uh, nether portal. There's a reason I had in mind when I did it and a reason I've realized since then. Uh, so there, there's, I'm working on building another portal. Um, this is tough because you don't have the flint and steel to light it. You need to use lava to light it. Uh, so I put the lava down there and I'm giving it some time to light up. Um, spoiler alert, it doesn't work. <laughs> it's, I, I don't, right there, it should have, there was flame inside the portal. I don't know why it didn't light. Um, and thus ensues many minutes of frustration um, of it not lighting. But I really don't like the sound of the nether portal. It just gets annoying uh, when it's so close and you always have that sound going. Um, it's not like a bad sound, it just it gets excessive when it's going for so long. Um, so... I, I, I like to build the nether portal some distance from my actual base just so I don't have to deal with the sound at all. Uh, so hang on, I'm trying another approach um, and eating watermelon to stay alive. Um, and it's, just, it's not working. I'm putting flammable blocks everywhere and really had a tough time with it. I'm getting flame everywhere except where I want it. The one thing I had to make sure to do was not catch myself on fire, one. Um, and two, um, not accidentally put a block in my source block for the lava. Because that is the only source block for lava. Even were I to eventually get into the nether, um, I guess the only way to do that would be via the lava. But... If I got rid of my source block and then the nether lit, the nether's empty too. So that's that's the one thing. Either losing your water source block or your lava source block really means you, you're done. There's no there's no fixing that problem in skyblock. There's a couple things that can make skyblock nearly impossible, like losing your water bucket, not your water bucket. But the, the the actual iron bucket. Um, I already had mentioned losing the water. But losing the actual iron bucket makes it nearly impossible. Um, of course, if you lose the sand or something, then you can't fulfill that objective. But you could still have a, a decent skyblock experience. Um, but yeah, losing your source blocks is the you know the major no no you really have to be careful with those so especially if you're going to try and use lava and water to make cobblestone you got to be really careful with where you're placing your source blocks i've messed myself up that way a couple times uh, again here i don't know how this isn't lighting the portal um it really should be um at between this episode and the next episode, I looked it up. Because I've done it before. I've lit the portal in, in Skyblock before. And I'm just placing the blocks wrong. Uh, so it won't be till the next episode that I actually get that lit properly. Um, so the, the last episode, the question uh, to answer was... I had to take the lava back up in order to uh, mine some more cobblestone. So last episode, the question was, does third-person viewpoint work? Um, this episode, um, what do you think about, um, of course, this is now boring because we have a blank screen. But what do you think about, uh, should I, sh if I should cut some material, what should I cut? Or is just speeding up and talking through sufficient? Uh, so get back to me on that. Uh, uh, next episode tomorrow. Make it a great day.